when you are ready to operate this machinery and actually cut a piece of metal, there's one thing you need to know. What size am I cutting a piece of metal to? So here's a drawing for you that will show you what size a piece of metal to cut. The overall length on this is four and three quarter. The overall width on this is three. So I have to cut a piece of metal three by four and three quarter. Okay? The drawing shows you what size to cut the metal to. So now that I see the drawing and know that I have to cut a piece three by four and three quarter, I can go get a piece of scrap metal and cut this three by four and three quarter. So if I take a ruler and measure this piece of metal this way, I can see that this piece of metal is only four and one eighth inches long, or wide, I mean. So I will not be able to cut the length out of this width, but I can get the width here. So this from here down is going to be the width, which means from this edge, this way, I need to cut the length at four and three quarter, which would be right there, four and three quarter. Okay, so I would normally make a mark on my piece of metal to show <clears throat> exactly that I when I when I, when I go to cut it that I'm not making any mistakes. But I'm pretty confident in myself having been around these, this equipment so long that I'll be able to get it on the first shot. So I'm going to show you how to set the machine to cut the length from the end that we just determined in and cut this piece off. There are rulers and scales right on the side of the machine. This is called the side gauge. And it has a ruler right on top of it. So you would slide the metal up against the edge of that. Okay. Like this, hands pushing down and then sliding over against the edge of the ruler. Then you slide it up, okay, until the bottom of the metal is at the dimension you want. I want to cut it at four and three quarter. Okay. One problem with that is, let me adjust the machine a little. There are also rulers on the back of this machine. You can see here. This machine right now is set to cut at one and a half. I don't want to cut it one and a half, I want to cut it four and three quarter. So these two bars that stick out of the back of this machine are the rulers in the guides and gauges that are used to set this machine, right? And that's the back of the machine. Okay, that is the back of the machine. So I have to adjust both of these to the right setting to make sure the piece cuts squarely. So the first thing I do is adjust this knob, which, which is just a lock, and I just have to turn it counterclockwise to the left, counterclockwise, to unlock it. 
then this tab right here shows me the mark where I want to adjust to. Okay, there's the two. So I'm just rotating this handle clockwise to move to move it backwards and make it further away. And what's happening is this piece is the stop. The metal comes through the machine, right, through the front, and goes back, and this bar acts as a stop to stop the machine at where you tell it to. I can't only move one part of this machine though. I can't just move this dial because only this part of the machine is moving while this part is staying stationary. So I have to unlock this side too and move this side back as well. If I don't, it's just gonna only go so far and it's gonna lock up and bind up. So I have to rot this, rotate this clockwise and move this one back as well. When you have two hands, you can kind of work both at the same time. But since I'm holding the camera right now, I have to do a little bit at a time. And I'm going way too far, actually. Because I want four and three quarter, right? But that's how it is. These adjust the stop bar to a specific setting on this scale. This is the scale on top. So I want to go to four and three quarter. Now you really have to look close at this scale because the biggest line all the way across The biggest line all the way across is, like see how this line goes all the way across the bar? That is actually the three mark. The three mark isn't under the three mark. The three mark is the biggest line that goes all the way across the top of the bar. So when I'm looking at the four, it's this line right here that's exactly four. So I want to go to four and three quarter. So there's five, the big line at five. It's a shadow. Get some light. Right? And then I want to move it back one quarter inch to four and three quarter, which is right there. about this is you can see my my camera is on an angle and it may not look like I'm at the four and three quarter mark because you have to look directly down over top to make sure you're lining up the tab correctly the edge of the tab right here should be directly over the line and maybe you should just see a little bit of the line. See how you can see just a little tiny bit of the line right there? That's the quarter mark right there. I want to just be able to see it so I know that I'm on it. Okay, so that's four and three quarter. Now I'm gonna lock the measurement guide and go over to the other one and set the other one at four and three quarter. So where's the big line that shows the five? My head's making a shadow. There's the big line. And I know that four 
sixteenths. Each mark here is one sixteenth. One, two, three sixteenths, four sixteenths. I know that four sixteenths is one quarter of an inch. So five minus one quarter is four and three quarter. So lock that hub and the machine is set to cut. Okay, now that the machine is set to cut, I can slide my piece of metal up to that stop bar and the piece that it will cut off now, right there, will be four and three quarter inch long. Okay. If I used this side gauge that's over here on the front of the table and I slid the bottom piece of the metal up to four and three quarter, then the piece that's left on the table right here would be four and three quarter not the piece that's cut off on the back. So if you set the back gauge, the piece on the back is the piece you're measuring for. If you use the side gauge on the front of the machine, the piece that's, that you want is after it's cut is gonna be left on the table. Okay, this is how the square and shear works. Okay, there is also another gauge on this side of the machine if people are more comfortable using this side of the machine. I like to use the left side of the machine because I'm a righty and I will lift, keep my left foot out of the way and I will lift my right foot to keep my balance on the left side. Right, so my left foot is in line with where I'm cutting or where my metal is. And my right foot is on the machine, okay? It keeps more balance that way. If you are lefty and you wanna cut with your left foot, then I suggest using the right side of the machine to keep your stationary ground foot in line with your metal. Okay, cutting the piece. When you're actually ready to cut this piece of metal, you've got to hold the metal down, slide it over, Hold it down and slide it up, keeping it against the side gauge. The side gauge is what keeps the metal square. That's, what, that's why they call it a square and shear. So keep, press a little bit, not real hard, just a little firmly down and slide the material up until it stops in the back. Then keeping a hold on the metal, pushing a little bit towards the side gauge and a little bit back Hold it down, get your fingers out of the way, slowly bring the pedal down to where you're close to the blade cutting the metal. You can even just touch it. And then give a firm, hard press. As hard as you can, as long as make sure your foot is out of the way and press very hard and make sure it cuts all the way through and then lift, depress the pedal. Now, the piece we cut off is the piece we measured. So now this piece should be four and three quarter from here to here. And let's measure.
and that is four and three quarter. Okay, now that I've cut this length to four and three quarter, I've got to turn it this way and cut it to three. Okay? So I'm gonna put it in the machine so that I can cut three inches off this way. So I'm gonna use the side gauge for this one. Okay, and I'm gonna slide it in the machine this way because I wanna cut three inches off of this side. This side is four and three quarter, which is right. Now I wanna turn it and cut three inches off of this side. So I have to put it into the machine this way. Okay, so like this. Now, So you can see now, this is the four and three quarter side. This is the parts where you have to make sure you know what you're doing because you could be cutting the wrong side and wasting metal. This is the side I need to cut three off, so I have to slide it into the machine this way and cut an end off of here, okay? So I slide it into the machine until the bottom stops at the three mark, which is the longest mark, right there. And these are things you need to watch for too, like this. See that ruler? Always make sure there's nothing under the machine or in the way before you cut. So now that I slide the bottom of this up to three inches, I'm gonna hold it firmly and take a cut. Okay, now this piece is three inches. When you use the side gauge, the piece that's left on the table is the size you want. Okay, so this piece now should be four and three quarter which it is, by three. Which it is. Now, I have the correct piece to start this piece of metal that I'm going to make. The next video will be transferring this drawing to the layout of this piece of metal.